and also with great diligence, the fond thilk experience, which clept is alconomy, whereof the silver multiply. Thee made, and eke the gold also, and for to tell how it is so, of bodies seven in special, with four spirits joint with all, stand the substance of this materia, the bodies which I speak of here, of the planets ben begone, the gold is titled to the sun, the moon of silver hath his part, and iron that stand upon mart. The lead shall Saturn groweth, and Jupiter the brass bestoweth. The copper set is to Venus, and to his part Mercurius hath the quicksilver, as it falleth, the which after the book it calleth, is first of thilk forenamed of spirits, which be proclaimed, and the spirit which is second. In Sal Almaniac is found, the third spirit sulphur is, the fourth suend after this. Arcanium by name is hot with blowing, and with fires hot. In these things which I say, the urchin by divers way. For as the philosopher told, of gold and silver, thee behold, two principal extremities, to which all other by degrees, of all the metals bend accordant. And so through kind resemblant, that what man couth away take, the rust of which they waxen blake, and and the favour of the hardness, thee shouldn't take the likeness of gold or silver perfectly, but for to watch it sickly. Between the corpse and the spirit, ere that the metal be perfect, in seven forms it is set of all, and if one be let, the remnant may not avail but otherwise it may not fail. A thy by whom this art was found, to every point a certain bound, ordain that man may find, this craft is wrought by way of kind, so that there is no phallus in, but what man that this work begin. He mows away to every tide, so that nothing be left aside. First of distillation, fourth with coagulation, solution, dissension, and keep in his intention the point of sublimation, and forthwith calcination, a very approbation, so that there be fixation with temperate heats of fire till he the perfect elixir of thilk philosopher's stone may get of which that many one of philosophers while i'm right of thilk stone with other two which as the clerk's maiden though so as the books it recorden the kind of hem i shall recorden these old philosophers wise by way of kind in sundry wise, three stones made through clergy, the first I shall specify, was clept vegetabilis, of which the proper virtue is, to man's heel to serve, as for to keep, and to preserve. The body throws sickness all, till death of kind upon him fall, the second stone I thee behold is lapis anomalis hot, the whose virtue is proper and couth for ear and eye, nose and mouth, 
whereof a man may hear, and see, and smell, and taste, in his degree, and for to feel, and for to go, it helpeth a man of both two. The wits five he undersongeth to keep, as it to him belongeth. The third stone in special by name is clept mineral, which the metals of every mine attempereth, till that thy ben fine, and pureth hem by such a way, that all the vice goeth away, of rust, of stink, and of hardness. And when they ben of such cleanse, this mineral, so I find, transformeth all the first kind, and maketh hem able to conceive, through his virtue and receive, both in substance and in figure, of gold and silver the nature. For thy two bend the extremities, to which after the properties, hath every metal his desire, with help and comfort of the fire. Forth with this stone as it is said, which to the sun and moon is led. For to the red and to the white, this stone hath power to provide. It maketh multiplication of gold and the fixation. It causeth, and of this babite, he does the work to be perfite. Of thilk elixir which me call alchemy, as it befall to hem, that while on were wise, but now it stand all otherwise. Thee speaken fast of thilk stone, but how to make it now won't none. After the sooth experience, a nathal's great diligence, thy setting up thilk deed, and spilling more than thy speed. For alway thee find a leth, which bringeth in poverty and debt, to hem that rich were to fall, and loss is had the lucre is law. To get a pound thee spendeth five, I know not how such a craft shall thrive, in the manner as it is used, it were better be refused, than for to wurchin upon ween, in thing which stand, not ask thy ween, but not for thy, whom that it knew, the science of himself is true, upon the form as it was founded, whereof the names yet be grounded, of hem, that first it founded out, and thus the fame goeth all about, to such as sought in business, of virtue and worthiness, of whom if I the names call, Hermes was one, the first of all, to whom this art is most applied, Gaber thereof was magnified, and Ortolane and Morion, among the witches Avicen, which found and wrote and great party, the practic of Alconomy, whose books plainly as these stand, upon this craft few understand. But yet to put him in a say, there be full many nowaday, that knoweth little that thy mean, it is not want of white and wean, in form of words thee it treat, but yet thee fallen of bait. For of to much, or of to light, there is algate found a white. So that thee follow not the line of the perfect medicine, which grounded is upon nature, but thee that written the scripture, of Greek, Arab, and Chaldee, thee were of such authority, that thee first founded out the way, of all that thou hast heard me say. Where of the chronicle of her law, shall stand in price 
forevermore. Concerning the Philosopher's Stone, written by John Gower, narrated by Jordan Harling.